Caddis Maximus here. Just a quick uh, little review of this Tecton 7608 2 inch inspection mirror. This thing's pretty decent. Actually, I found this in the store for five bucks, but I found uh, one or a similar model on Amazon. They wanted 10. I was like, <laughs> what's going on there? Some people are price gouging on Amazon. Surprisingly enough, I was in Harbor Freight. Maybe they have one, but I didn't see just a normal inspection mirror. What I saw was the mirror that they have on the little snake, which I don't like so much. And then Harbor Freight has this little mirror, which is also a telescoping, but it's just a smaller, like, one and a quarter inch. A little bit hard to see, even though it gets in the tight spaces. My biggest issue with this one is I keep trying to tighten it so that the mirror, you know, so you don't bump it. Because when you're using these mirrors, you're often trying to thread them into pretty tight spaces and you're bumping them. So you want to be able to get this little swivel pretty tight. And on this one, you can see it just, they're not thick enough. They just keep bowing. It's only a little five millimeter nut. I should mention that uh, somebody had asked why would you get uh, tiny nut drivers? And this is one of the situations. We have a five millimeter here and a seven thirty seconds nut uh, on this one. These are the exact kind of situations which many nut drivers are for. The Tecton is indeed a larger fastener than the Harbor Freight. If we compare the thickness of the swivels, we can see the Tecton is just much larger, much thicker. They're not bowing, and I have it pretty tight. Uh, it's pretty smooth operating. What I mean is even on the Harbor Freight, when you adjust it, you can just feel what almost feels like grit in there, but this Tecton one is definitely pretty smooth. Smooth uh, extension, so this is, would be considered just a standard uh, automotive inspection mirror. So just wanted to make a quick video if you can end up with one of these. Uh, it actually turns out that the Tecton one looks pretty good. It'd probably pass off as a, any professional brand. As far as the fit and finish is concerned, the mirror is, absolute, is perfect. Nicely inset with nice little machine parts for the fittings, both here and here. The only thing I would really like to see with these inspection mirrors with the two inches, there's many times where even this much handle, uh, where you're trying to get your head to see and where you might be able to have your hand Say you have to get on the one side of the engine bay, look at one side, but the only way to do that is to thread the mirror from the opposite side. These handles do get a little short. What I did find out is that the outside, this diameter of this lower tube is the same as these cheesy uh, telescoping selfie sticks. So what you can do is you can just cut off this upper tube and actually slip this into the end of the selfie stick and then restake it. And I'll make a little video when I make that modification. But I thought that's exactly really what I'd want is this type of mirror, but on something that can really extend out super far. Other than that, it's just a basic uh, inspection mirror and basically known as a uh, poor person's uh, inspection camera. And actually many situations are better than inspection cameras because you gotta deal with the whole lead, the, cam the thread the camera, Sometimes you got to put on mirror adapters and many times just grabbing a mirror and getting at the right angle will give you exactly the look that you need. Just remember everything's backwards when you're in a mirror. Anyway, this Tecton is kind of a cool unit and actually when I picked it up I was really surprised that it didn't uh, exude this quality. But it actually seems pretty nice. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, Please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.